Today's podcast is brought to you by Audible.com. Get a free audiobook download and a 30-day free trial at audibletrial.com slash Dan's Book Reviews. Dan Dan the Art Man's Book Reviews, Episode 57, Mr. Mercedes by Stephen King. I really enjoyed this novel. I love police procedural stories, and this book had some of that, but it was a little different because the main character is a retired detective. If anything, that just made it more interesting. As usual with a Stephen King novel, the characters were fantastically rendered and felt like acquaintances from real life by the time I was a few chapters in. One thing that made this book so cool was how different all the characters were from each other. Seeing people from opposite sides of the spectrum work together to solve a case was really cool. I won't elaborate so I don't spoil the story, but the makeup of the characters was really interesting, and watching the ways they interacted really added a level of intrigue to the story. The antagonist, or bad guy, in this novel was chilling. When you read his inner monologue, you're glad you're not on the other end of his diabolical plans. He's scary because in his day-to-day interactions with people, he's just a banal guy you wouldn't have a reason to remember. Then, when he goes home at night, where he still lives with his mother, he makes plans. He and his mother have a relationship that was revolting to me. I'm sure this added to my disgust towards his character. He's one of those bad guys you love to hate. Just as you're rooting for the good guys, you're rooting for the antagonist to get what's coming to him. The romance in this book came off to me as authentic and original. It was between two somewhat unlikely characters. It adds a bit of joy to this fairly dark noir tale. Without spoiling anything, I will just say that before the book is over, not all of the important characters make it out alive. King pulls no punches here, and the character's death does a nice job of making you that much more anxious that more characters will die later in the story when the conflict and danger gets turned up a notch. I've read a handful of King's older novels, many of the ones considered to be classics. I know to some people his writing suffered for many years as he struggled with alcohol and substance abuse. I'm here to tell you that every new Stephen King book I read is fantastic. He's back, and I'm so glad he's still cranking them out. I've loved all of his new novels, and the same holds true with this one. The last thing I'll mention is that I listened to the audiobook version of this novel. It's narrated by Will Patton, who is a phenomenal voice talent. I first heard him narrate when I listened to Dr. Sleep, which is the sequel to The Shining. Patton really brought that book to life. I think he was a great pick for this book, too, because his voice is perfect for the main character, who is a retired detective. He has that authentic, gruff voice that really fit the protagonist. He delivers the book with such a great conversational read that you get pulled in right away. He's a great actor, too, delivering lines of sensitive emotion, raw anger, and insane sociopath spot on. You believe right away when you hit play, and Will starts telling you the story. After finishing this book, I found out it's to be the first in a trilogy. (laughs) I'm thrilled. I can't wait to visit these characters again. All right. Oh, man, this book was fantastic. I actually own the second book in the series on audio, and the third one's out, too, so I better get cracking, because I I was really excited to read the next one uh, when I found out this book 
came out. So, like I said, the audiobook version of this book was fantastic. Um, you probably have seen Will Patton in a movie or favorite TV show that you've watched. Um, I saw him as a really funny character in The Good Wife. The guy that's always walking around with a dog, a little tiny dog. Anyway, just a fantastic actor. And so I was talking about how great the audiobook is, which is why I have some great news for you, the listener of this podcast. This podcast, as you know if you heard the beginning, is sponsored by Audible, which means if you go to audibletrial.com slash Dan's Book Reviews, you can get a free audiobook just for checking out their service. If you go there, you can get Mr. Mercedes by Stephen King, read by Will Patton, for free, and 30 free days of their service, a free trial. I'm an Audible member myself. Listening to audiobooks is how I get most of my reading done, and I haven't found a better place to get audiobooks. They have a great selection, and I just pay 15 bucks a month and get one credit, and with that credit, I get any audiobook of my choice. Many times, the books are worth far more than $15, so I'm getting a great deal. Mr. Mercedes by Stephen King, narrated by Will Patton, is my recommendation for this week. It's a fantastic listen. Pick it up for free at audibletrial.com slash Dan's Book Reviews. And if you do that, you're helping support the show. So thanks to you, and thanks to Audible. Now, let's get back to that review. Oh man, this was fantastic. Oh, I loved this book. Uh, the cast of characters are like the last kinds of people you would expect to be in a cool crime drama novel. Just kind of people from very different uh, places. But they make a really awesome team. Uh, the team is a funny one with people that kind of struggle through life in certain areas and are brilliant in other areas. Uh, all come together to make an awesome team to, to really come up against a chilling bad guy. This guy was bad news and he needed to be taken out. Uh, I think if you read the description of this book, you already know. So this isn't really a spoiler, and it's always it's also the idea that helped Mr. King come up with this book, but he read about someone driving through a, a crowd and killing and injuring tons of people. Well, the, the bad guy's name is Mr. Mercedes because he drives his Mercedes through a crowd of people, killing and injuring tons of people. Just a brutal dude. And then he writes a note to the protagonist, the hero of our story, who is a retired detective that has a lot of uh, personal problems, we'll say, and just says, hey, I'm the guy who did it. And just the fact that he wrote him a personal letter is so creepy. <laughs> but it kind of gives our protagonist a purpose uh, because he's just kind of sitting at home, retired, and doesn't really have much to live for anymore. And it was just really cool to see his character, even though he's an old, retired dude, change and grow as a person throughout this book. And the people that he comes alongside to get the bad guy, uh, they were really cool and really interesting. And like I said, just not the kinds of characters you would expect. Stephen King was very creative when he created the characters for this book, drawing on people from just very different circles of life. And that really just gave this awesome book an interesting twist and just an extra layer of something to enjoy beyond the awesome kind of police procedural stuff, even though it's a retired detective. The still the guy's retired, so he spent like his whole life being a detective. He's got the chops to use. Uh, even if he's not in that role as a detective officially anymore, which was just really fun to see. And so I highly recommend this book for the great characters, the fantastically evil bad guy <laughs> and, who made the book chilling and really great. And what, what more can I say? Uh, like I've said um, probably dozens of times now, 
I think Stephen King is so great and will be read years beyond his death into the future because he is so good at writing super believable, rich, well-developed characters. So I think that's why everyone loves Harry Potter too. You just love the characters. So check it out, Mr. Mercedes by Stephen King. Get it for free at audibletrial.com slash Dan's Book Reviews in audio format, narrated by Will Patton. Oh, it's so good. That's all I got for you guys. I hope you're having a great year of reading so far, as it is early February right now. Right now, I'm writing a book. Uh, I have, I'm calling it Ghost Hunting Realtor. And it's about a realtor who finds some magical items that help him get rid of ghosts. So he then realizes he could buy places that people think are haunted, that no one wants to buy, and people can't sell. He can buy them for a really cheap price, get rid of the ghosts, or as it turns out, they're demons with his magical items, one of which is a sword, and demons are fallen angels, and angels have swords. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and then buy this place up, get rid of the evil spirits inside, and then renovate the place and sell it for a huge profit. And, you know, they're haunted houses, so they're gonna be mansions. <laughs> so he has a lot of money to make, but by the end of the story, he's gonna go from being a selfish jerk to hopefully someone who tries to help people and goes out of his way to find some humility and put others before himself. I'm really enjoying the book. It's coming along really great. I just finished chapter 16 of it. It's going to be about 50 chapters, and I'm really excited about it. So listen for more news on that, and I am planning to finish it and get it edited and publish it this year. I already have the cover mostly done. Uh, you can check that out on my website at dandandtheartman.com. But anyways, I'll let you guys go. Hope you're having a good commute or are enjoying doing the dishes or what, mowing the lawn or whatever you're doing while listening to this. And uh, happy reading. Talk to you guys next time. Mike, take it away. This podcast is licensed under a Creative Commons attribution, non-commercial, no derivative works license. Music by Kevin McLeod, found at Incompetech.com. The website that goes with this podcast can be found at dandantheartman.com. And you can follow Dan on Twitter, Google+, and Facebook at Dan Dan the Art Man. For Dan, this is Mike Luoma saying happy reading, and we'll see you next time.